And speaking of vaccines, what's in them? Now, there's been a lot of talk about the mRNA and viral that, that comes with the sparks your immunity in your body. But what else is in this solution in the vial? To get to the bottom of it, we bring in Matt Gregory with our Verify team. All the information is in plain sight. On the CDC's website, they list all of the ingredients for the vaccines. And according to our experts, even though the chemical names are complex, it's pretty standard stuff. Inside these precious vials is a map to defeating the coronavirus. But you probably wondered, what's all this other liquid in the vial? Our sources, Dr. William Moss, a vaccines expert from Johns Hopkins University, Dr. Bruce Walker, an immunology expert from the Harvard Medical School, and the CDC. The briefing document that the company submitted to the FDA that you can get online actually have all the ingredients listed. Like Dr. Moss says, it's all out in the open. This is a list of the active and inactive ingredients for the vaccines. But what does it all mean? Let's start at the core. All three vaccines have a genetic map to show your body how to create immunity. For Pfizer and Moderna, it's mRNA. For Johnson & Johnson, it's a spike protein. All vaccines have some kind of vehicle in which they're delivered. The vehicle for the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines is a nanoparticle. Basically mRNA, some fats uh, that basically protect the RNA. Johnson & Johnson's vaccine uses a non-replicating virus as its vehicle. So. What's the rest of this liquid in the vial? And then it's just these kind of salts, uh, salt solutions or buffer solutions, basically water and salt. It's a solution that's partly um, salt water and partly something called polyethylene glycol. Which, according to our experts, is standard for vaccines. According to Dr. Walker, these vaccines don't stay in the body for all that long. Take, for example, he says the mRNA vaccines, those only stay in the body for about a day or two. With your Verify, I'm Matt Gregory.